I mean, you can feel it in the air. There's always, every, every time a racial conversation comes on, like it feels like people are just uncomfortable. Some of us have have been in a bit of a groove, a bit of a lane. There's pain, there's, there's dissent. It definitely leaves a, a distaste in your mouth. A lot of people want to ignore it and say that it's not there, but it's definitely here at Southern. Over the last several years, Southern Adventist University students have engaged themselves in a number of online controversies. It seems like last year the university had enough and the university president, Dave Smith, created a video apologizing to some of the issues that students of color have faced on this campus. And this year, a group of people who lead an organization called Against the Wall are coming to this campus and partnering with the campus ministries department and some of the university leadership to host a series of conversations and messages on the topics of racism in the Seventh-day Adventist Church and in particular on this university. Against the Wall, very simply, is a movement that has been birthed out of a desire of Ty, myself, my wife Tassiana, uh, Garrison, Hayes, and, and a number of other Adventist Christians who believe that God has something to say about the racial divides that we see both inside and outside of our church. Against the wall meaning uh, we are against, as in opposed, to racial inequality in any form, wherever it raises its ugly head. And it doubles as a metaphor for those who are against the wall in the sense that their back is against the wall of racial oppression and marginalization and, and they're experiencing. What motivated you as the chaplain of this university to bring this uh, team here? I think it's helpful to have a team of people who are so well educated and versed in some of the terminology and in some of the conversations, the professionals or the specialists as it were, to come and to educate some of us who um, aren't caught up on everything we need to be caught up on is so beneficial to our campus. It's so beneficial to me as a chaplain. Throughout the weekend, Against the Wall was given access to platforms across campus, including University Convocation, Friday Vespers, and multiple Saturday services. It is disruptive, there's no doubt about it. There's been some anger expressed. Some have texted, uh, posted on social media, hey, you know, this isn't the venue for that, this isn't the place, we shouldn't be talking about this. When you come out of it, talk about it, express yourself, and you're kind of angry still, it, it can kind of push people away, you know? Just because you have not experienced the reality of other people does not mean that their reality is not valid and is not real. Unresolved shame has to have a target for enmity or hostility. And she clearly saw this work not as a political initiative or a social justice issue, she saw it as a mandate from God. A lot of times people get up front and say there's racism and a lot of people don't want to believe that. But as soon as you show it in the Bible, hey look, there's racism and the Bible says don't do that, it, it drives it home for me a lot more like, oh I need to make reparations, I need to apologize. But if I'm not like actively helping them and like seeing the issues that they face and not trying to help them like through those things, then do I really, you know, love them? One young lady said, I really appreciate the renewed perspective on the love of God, not only for me, but his call for me to also love others and reconcile myself first to him and then reconcile myself elsewhere. As the capstone event Saturday afternoon, the Agora provided a space for conservative and progressive speakers to share their viewpoints and seek common ground. I thought it was an amazing experience. Um, I think it is long overdue for our church to deal with these issues. Even people who might have gotten up to the mic and we might have expected something um, more extreme or, or, or more heated emotion. I felt like it was it was done well, so I, I was impressed overall. I thought it was a very productive event. Against the Wall at Southern Adventist University seems to have successfully communicated a biblical case for racial reconciliation, but will the university embody the message into lasting change on campus? Everyone is very intelligent in their arguments, but I'm afraid that the solutions to this thing is, is very, very slippery and is going to escape us for a long time yet. And I hope it continues. That's the one thing I think Southern can do is to foster the environment for those conversations to continue. I feel 
like sometimes we have these conversations and instead of coming together, we create even a bigger divide. And that's kind of what like, I felt tonight. I was like, did, what did we accomplish? We sat here for two hours, did we really get anywhere? I feel like Against the Wall was able to come into uh, the campus and continue some growth, but I'm afraid that after this weekend, we've come to this conclusion that no, we need to do something but we don't actually do something. We don't start a process. We don't come up with a plan. And six months, two school years from now, whatever it is, we are looking at a campus that is maybe worse off after Against the Wall than it was before Against the Wall.